Welcome. We have another math challenge on the board for us. How do we solve this question? The question is bracket a thing y to the power of y plus bracket all to the power of y equal to y times y. What is the value of y that will satisfy this equation? So many looking at this equation, you discover that we are going to solve for two roots, okay, that will satisfy this equation here. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. We take our selection. All right. We can rewrite both the left-hand side of the equation and the right-hand side of the equation. How? We are going to take some simple laws of indices for the left-hand side of the equation. There is a law that says that if you have your a to the power of your m n, this is equal to our a to the power of m the n. We can interchange this power again. So this could be written as our a to the power of n or to the power of m. So if we consider this, then we can rewrite this left hand side of the equation by multiplying this y times y. So this will give us y to the power of y or to the power of 2. This is equal to y to the power of 2. Because y times y will give us y squared. Right? Good. Now at this point, it is easy now. If you consider the base numbers here, or the base alphabet rather, then they are the same. And so we can equate the exponent. But here, we want to bring in another pattern of solving uh, for our y from this point here. And what is that pattern? We want to take log to both sides of the equation. And log to base, what are we going to take? We are going to take log to base y. So taking log to base y, we're going to have this to be log our y to the power of y or to the power of 2. Then base y, this is equal to log our y to the power of 2. Base y also. Easy, right? Good. Yeah, we'll make use of some of the properties of logarithm. There is a law that says that if you have log your e to the power of m, it says move this to this side of the equation, sort of the expression. So this will now give us m times our log e here. So do we have exponent here? Yes, the whole of this is an exponent. The whole of this is an exponent. So we are moving this to this side. We are moving this also to this side. So doing that, this will give us our y to the power of 2 times our log y base y equal to 2 comes here. We have 2 times log y this y. Another law or property of logarithm is playing out here again. It says that if you have your log, your a this a, this is equal to 1, provided your a is not equal to 0. So what we have here is not 0, what we have here is not 0. So that law, we hold what I here. So the whole of this will give us 1, the whole of this one will give us 1. So we have here y to the power of 2 is equal to 2. Easy. That's what we said the other time, that if we consider the base number, so this is going to give us y to the power of 2 is equal to 2. That's what we have here. But this is another method of solving for that. Okay, so we are looking for y. So we take the square root of both sides. So let's take the square root of both sides. Let's take the square root of this side. And immediately we do that, let's introduce our plus, minus. So this and this list. So we now have, therefore, our y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. Easy. Okay, so from here we have y1 is equal to plus square root of 2, and y2 is equal to minus the square root of 2. But let's check if these two roots will actually satisfy the original equation. Okay? So let's, so let's continue on this side here. So we'll have here check. Let's erase this. So from here, we'll consider case 1. So our case 1 will have y equal to positive root 2. Right? So we're having our case 1. To be this. So our question again, we have y to the power of y, bracket, bracket, our y is equal to y dot y. So substituting this will give us the square root of 2, all to the power of the square root of 2, all raised to 
the square root of 2. This is equal to the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Okay. Now, according to that property of indices, the distance is uh, come up here. So we're going to have here the square root of 2, the r raised to the square root of 4. This is equal to this time. This will also give us the square root of 4. What is the square root of 4? It is 2. So we have square root of 2 all to the power of 2. This is equal to 2. So this we go with this radical. So we have 2 is equal to 2. So it shows that the first root which is this, satisfy the original equation. So let's check for our case two. So our case two, here we have case two, where we have our y2 to be minus root two. So we put this into our original equation again. Our equation, we have this. So we're going to have here minus root two out of the power of minus root two Bracket r raised to minus root 2. This is equal to minus root 2 times our minus root 2 again. So minus root 2. Okay, so let's continue here. All right. So what we do here now is easy. Minus root 2 times minus root 2 will give automatically your root 4, right? So the base here remains. So we have minus root 2. All raised to our square root of 4 is equal to minus root 2 times minus root 2 automatically will give us our positive root 4. And so this will give us 2, this will give us 2. So we have minus root 2 all raised to the power of 2 is equal to 2. What does this expression signify? It means minus 1 times root 2 all raised to the power of 2. Okay, so this will now give us minus 1 all to the power of 2 times the square root of 2 all to the power of 2 equal to 2. Minus 1 to the power of 2 will give us 1 times, yeah, root 2 to the power of 2. This, this will leave. So we have 2 equal to 2. So we now have here 1 times 2 to give us 2. This is equal to 2. So it also shows that our second root satisfy the original equation. So in all, we cannot say therefore, our y1 is equal to root 2 and our y2 is equal to minus root 2. They both satisfy the original equation. This is pretty easy. All right. So this brings us to the end of this class. If you learn something from this video, give the video a thumbs up, share with family members, your friends, your colleagues that need this knowledge. This is All I Must TV. And if you've not subscribed, encourage us by subscribing. For those that drop some questions in the comment section, by next week, I'm going to release video on all of them. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for watching All I Must TV. We love you. Bye for now.